is Margita Umanova from Slovak Republic. She's a doctoral student at the University of Economics in Bratislava, and she specializes in also studying Roma. Thank you very much for coming this evening, and also thank you very much in advance. For the and thank you very much in advance for sharing your experience and your questions and your answers with us after uh, my speech ends. And um, just as several speakers before me said, Slovakia is also quite a, uh, I would say, a unified country when it comes to, uh, for example, the question of race. Uh, but yeah, some friends recently told me it's kind of becoming fancy having a black boyfriend, for example, because they are so rare in Slovakia and they are usually studying medicine and uh, some other university studies. So yes, I, I think this is kind of a specialty of coming to uh, San Francisco. So there's much wider choice. <laughs> but um, there is one very unique minority in Slovakia. Actually, it's the, the second largest minority after uh, Hungarian, and it's Roma. It's just, uh, as Stepan told before me, uh, Roma in Slovakia, according to some estimates, they uh, make up almost 8% of Slovak society. The problem is that that uh, second mi uh, largest minority, which is the least integrated to the social life of uh, Slovak people not only the social life, but also the economic life and the uh, working life as well. Um, Roma face multiple barriers when it comes to uh, getting a job, when it comes to accessing school, uh, when it comes to accessing the social facilities, which the majority of population has access to. In my PhD studies, uh, I'm focusing on unemployment and those are the Roma people who are the ones who really face barriers when accessing employment in Slovakia. And uh, that's why also, I also very much appreciated the experience we had today in Oakland visiting the youth radio because uh, it's one of the best examples I've seen so far uh, creating employment opportunities for young people and really empowering them to make a change in their lives, make a change in their society, completely uh, turn upside down the life they were living and make something better of it. And um, I don't want to talk too long, but uh, I just want to pose maybe a question on the other participants of the program and also maybe on the audience. Uh, this has been an excellent opportunity for us so far. Uh, seeing the way things and diversity is taken and works in San Francisco and in United States in general. And uh, I really appreciate, appreciate it, but I think maybe even more important than taking part in this program and learning from it is what we uh, do as a follow-up back home, back in Europe, back in our countries. Uh, how we can transform this unique US experience into our own societies, into our own context, because that's sometimes the hardest problem. It's nice to learn about best practices, but you have to really be able to transform it to your own context to make use of it. 